The exchange came during questioning by Republican Senator John Barrasso about increasing Chinese aggression in the Indo-Pacific. Could you please speak and share with all of us uh, the recent Chinese actions that concern you? Absolutely. I think the uh, geopolitical situation between China and the U.S. does concern our people. We are very fearful uh, for what would could happen if there is a conflict that would occur. The governor noted that with the addition of Marine Corps Base Camp Blas, there are now three major military installations on the island. The presence of that strength of military bases in, in Guam makes for a target for us. And if there's going to be any Chinese uh, conflict, we feel that we would be the first line of attack, as we were also in Japan, mm -hmm. uh, by Japan uh, in to, in World War II. And so that is very concerning to us, Senator. And then she mentioned the balloon. We do know that there is more Chinese activity. The spy balloon that was shot down passed by Guam. And uh, yes, passed by Guam. We had a, a briefing uh, from the military. So those are the things that do concern us. And of course, what are we doing to prepare? The military is now going to set up a military defense system in Guam. In fact, I think Admiral Hill is there now as we are speaking. And all this activity to fortify and strengthen military preparedness for national security uh, concerns our people, again, because it does uh, influence, I think, the attack. Admiral John Hill is the head of the Missile Defense Agency. He admitted in an article today in The Economist that they're playing catch-up with Guam's missile defense and the Pentagon is seeking $1.8 billion in the fiscal 2024 budget to close the gap. Meanwhile, the governor used the opportunity to explain what she said was the pressing need for a new medical complex. And I'm very urgent to find the financing and the grant to build our hospital. Uh, the military naval hospital is there, but their bed, bed capacity right now is 39. And uh, certainly if there is any situation where they are attacked, they would rely on us as the civilians to help back up that military uh, situation. I just want to say that Guam and the military are working very closely together, Senator, to provide for the national security of our nation and more sp specifically for our people. So um, any help from the federal government is, I think, an investment in the nation's security. Esther Lecanto, KUAM News.